Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say it's uh, depend. It depends on uh, on how you um, how you how they are being treated. So, if a woman with polycystic ovarian syndrome is um, uh, starts to ovulate simply because she has been di- uh, dieting and exercising and she has lost weight uh, through uh, that way, then her chances of, of getting uh, twins is just as, as high as any other woman who doesn't have polycystic ovarian syndrome, i.e. it's about 1%. However, if a woman with polycystic ovarian syndrome is using clomiphen or, um, uh, or tamoxifen tablets uh, to, uh, to try and get her to ovulate, um, she does have a higher risk of getting twins or, tri- uh, or triplets her risk of twins with taking uh, the, uh, uh, the the most common tr- uh, tablet, which is clomiphene, is about ten percent. Okay, and the risk of triplets is about one percent. Uh, now, these this risk can be reduced by having uh, what we call follicle tracking during the cycles that she's us- uh, using these tablets. Uh, some people use injections like FSH for women who who don't ovulate with the tablets and need and need an FSH injection in order to make them ovulate. But that uh, using the injections even increases the risk of twins even higher to anywhere between 15 to 20%. So, um, uh, however, there's also something called ovarian drilling, laparoscopic ovarian drilling, which is quite invasive because it means take your patient to, to theater, putting her to sleep and putting a camera through her belly button. And then uh, um, with a diathermy, uh, we... We, we, we call it ovarian drilling, but it's actually burning uh, a few holes, uh, about four holes in, 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 each o- in each ovary. And with this, the, uh, the women are able to start ovulating uh, on their own without any medication. Now, with these women, their chance of twins is just, uh, is just as high as women who uh, do not have polycystic ovarian syndrome, i.e. it's about 1%. So it really depends on on the type of treatment, and of course, if it go if it go down to IVF, it it depends on how many embryos are put back in. So if the, your doctor puts, uh, if you're under the age of 35 and your doctor puts two embryos back in at embryo transfer, your risk of twins if you become pregnant is about 40 percent. Whereas if you just have one embryo put back in, your risk of twins is one percent, which is again the same as any other woman who doesn't have polycystic uh, ovarian syndrome. 